Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to the episode number 21 of the series of tutorial WordPress 101 for beginner developers. Have you ever heard about Monstroid? Monstroid is basically WordPress on steroids. With this product, you can build easily everything from a single blog page to a gigantic e-commerce to sell your product online. Click on this video to learn more and access a 10% discount for Monstroid or whatever other theme you decided to purchase from the template monster repository. Welcome again. Uh, in this episode, we're going to take a look at the second part of the custom taxonomy argument. But before going uh, to the actual part, I want to just uh, spend a few seconds to let you know a weird bug that I found in WordPress. I don't know if it's related to my theme or it's a generic thing of WordPress. So basically, if you remember in the last episode, I defined a custom taxonomy, a hierarchical custom taxonomy, like a category. Uh, called type. Uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can go back just one episode and check that out. Or if you don't want to waste time, you can always grab the source code on GitHub and you can find the link of the repository in the description below. But if you notice here, I have type and type as a registers taxonomy. And if you access, if you're at the same point as I am, if you access the uh, homepage of the current installation of our awesome theme, you will notice that the carousel, the slider with uh, my categories and latest blog posts for per each category, it's completely gone, it's not working. So after a few time, I noticed that no arrow was triggered, uh, no PHP issues, no issues with WordPress, nothing was uh, coming up in the back end or in the front end, it was just completely gone. And every time I used to like uh, delete the custom taxonomy, the carousel was coming back. So I finally found that if you use a custom taxonomy called type, this custom taxonomy, this name type, is interfering with the current categories section of WordPress. I don't know why, probably because it's custom post type or like post type uh, database uh, table or whatever. Anyway, I <laughs> found out after hours of research and painfully debugging this theme, I couldn't figure it out what was the problem that just simply change from type to whatever other, like for example, field. Uh, let's put a taxonomy called field and refresh the homepage and the carousel is back, of course. Um, so let's do a little bit of cleanup and change all the types with fields. Let's do a find or replace. So that's it pretty much. I fixed pretty much everything. Let's go back here, refresh. Let's go in the, in the back end. So now that I changed the name of the actual taxonomy that I created from scratch, so the field is not a uh, type anymore, uh, I don't have any more the settings that I put inside because those settings are related to the unique name that I define for every uh, custom taxonomy. So now I have to basically recreate what I had before. So let's say that I want to just as a test have these three uh, fields, <laughs> three word fields, development, design, and logo design that is a child of the design parent element. Let's go back in our custom post type portfolio and let's select logo design and design as a field. Let's go back in the nerd continuity. Let's click development and let's go create a new logo, just logo design without the actual design. So update, let's go back. And now we have the field. So if you notice also in the back end, I have the column field inside the back end. So when I'm looking at all the items of my custom post type, I actually see all the custom taxonomies that I selected. And if I select uh, a specific custom taxonomy, the system is going to filter all the posts, the custom post type associated to that custom taxonomy. This is happening because I declared true 
in the arguments array the show admin column. If I don't declare this or I put false and I refresh here, you will notice that this column is gone. So this is really helpful because if we have a lot of different custom taxonomies or different hierarchical custom taxonomies, for example, like some uh, tags related uh, input and the tags can be like a lot, for example, can be like 20, 30 tags or wherever, that could happen that we don't want those tags to show in the administration panel because we don't want to clutter the admin area with all these tags that we don't need. So uh, we can specify folds to avoid to show those tags in the admin panel. So now it's time to create our other taxonomy type. We created the first time a hierarchical taxonomy type, like a category. Now we want to create a non-hierarchical taxonomy type, like a tag list. In my case, I want to use this not hierarchical taxonomy to create a list of softwares that I'm going to list for every custom post type that I used to create the specific portfolio piece of work that I'm showing. So uh, basically we could repeat everything we did here and just specify a hierarchical faults. But because I don't want to repeat all this, it's, it's kind of tedious. Like I, I think you kind of understood uh, what these labels are for and all the important options that you have here in the arguments, I can streamline a lot the registration taxonomy function and write everything together without creating variable, without creating uh, an array inside a variable and just using straight the register taxonomy function and put everything inside there. So let's take a look on how to do that and let's see if it's working. Of course it's gonna work or maybe not. Just let's take a look. So let's write register underscore taxonomy. And here as a first parameter, we have to specify the name of our non-hierarchical taxonomy. In my case, I want to use it software has the name. And here we want to specify just the custom post type. I know that I'm not gonna need to specify other post types because I don't want a post of pages to have these a custom taxonomy so I can put this straight as a string and not as a um, array. WordPress is gonna automatically recognize that this is just one single value and it's not an array of values so it's not gonna create any error and it's gonna handle it for us. The third parameters because I didn't specify an argument, an array of arguments with all the options, I can open directly an array inside the register taxonomy function. Let's go into another line just to make it more readable. Uh, here we can define all this stuff that we define in, in the args variable, but directly inside the register taxonomy. And the options that I want are just really, really super basic. So let's just specify simple label. And my label is gonna be software. Then I want to specify the rewrite option. Actually, I can copy here, rewrite. I want to also this one to be rewritable. So software. And then the other important value that I need is the hierarchical value that in this case has to be false. And that's it. Basically, in this way, we register a taxonomy in a super fast way without specifying all these options that, of course, we can customize. But if we are in a like speed up development mode and we need to get things done as fast as possible, we can streamline this entire register taxonomy type with just the most basic and important stuff so we can test it right away uh, inside our development environment without customizing stuff that probably we can do it later or we don't actually need. So let's save it. Let's go back in our administration panel, refresh, and let's take a look here inside the custom post type. We have software, another uh, section, and this section is a tag. So because I didn't specify uh, any label, WordPress is gonna fall back automatically to the tag 
name uh, labels. So I'm going to have no tags here, add new tag, and new tag, blah, 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 and so on, so on. But the important thing is that this thing is going to exactly work as it's supposed to be, like a tag. So now I have in uh, custom post type, I have the software option that I specified as a label. And here I can put inside Illustrator, Photoshop, and Krita. <laughs> Let's say that I use these three software and update system. So if I go in all item of the custom post type, you will notice that I don't have the column here as I specified bec before because I didn't specify the arguments show admin column. And this is pretty great. We have the option to show whatever we need and whatever we want. So uh, no limitation on that side. Now we have to go in a front end and access our work page where I listed all my custom post types. And let's take a look at something weird that probably you will notice right away. Basically, every custom post type is listed nicely here, it doesn't matter. But if I try to print the actual category in which every custom post type is, the category is empty. And if I access one custom post type, you remember here I specified the category and the tags, but it's not working. So this is completely empty. If we access our text editor and we open our single portfolio.php file, you will notice here inside the loop to print the single blog post, we have the category and the tags. So the issue here is that because we created a custom taxonomy, uh, that is a custom category and a custom tax taxonomy, WordPress cannot access those custom taxonomies by default using the pre-built the category and the tags. So we have to actually call a specific function to retrieve those information saved connected to our custom post type. So there are a different type of methods, a different type of functions to retrieve the taxonomy list for your custom post type. Uh, but for now, I'm going to take a look at just one specific that it's kind of the most complete and that it's the one that I usually use. But um, just so you know, if you have doubts or you want to use a different functions, you always can go take a look at the codex of WordPress that is full of really useful examples with all different type of taxonomy functions to print your custom taxonomy. So right now, instead of using D category, I have to use a specific function called WP underscore get underscore post terms. And inside here, I have three major options. First, I have to specify the post ID. And because I'm inside the post loop, I can use a pre-built function of WordPress called $post ID. So because I'm inside the loop, this $post is um, an array object full of all the information that are inside my post. So I can access the ID with this variable. Here we have to specify what kind of taxonomy we want to access. And because we define that taxonomy, we know what is the exact name. So I specify the taxonomy called field. So I want to grab all the field, all the taxonomy field associated to this current post ID. And here we can specify some arguments, for example, how we want to order the uh, taxonomy that we're going to get, like if we want to order by name, uh, ascend an order, if we want to display all the fields or whatever. For now, we can avoid to specify these arguments uh, variable because WordPress has by default all the settings that right now we need. So now we have this function that is automatically grabbing all the custom taxonomy associated to this current post type. But we cannot print just simply this function because this function is retrieving and is creating an array of variables. So if you know a little bit of PHP, you will know that you cannot print uh, with an echo or a simple print uh, function an array of values. You have to loop through the array and print specifically each single uh, argument inside that array. So what we have to do, we have to store this function inside a variable. And my variable is going to be like 
um, terms underscore list equal. And now I have everything inside here. And now I can create, let me create a little bit a better reading functions. So I can create in here uh, for each loop, for each terms list as term, open curly brackets. I'm going to print every single term, echo term, and access the argument inside the term that it's name. And let's put a little space after every single um, taxonomy name. So if I have multiple taxonomy, at least everything is going to be nicely separated by the space. Um, let's access the front end and let's take a look. And as you can see here, now I have the uh, custom taxonomies that I specify for these developers live custom post type that are design and logo design. So here we have a bit of an issue because uh, we don't have a nice separation between the custom taxonomies. So what we have to do, we have to create a check inside the loop and see if this value is not the first one. So it means that there's a second value, there's a second taxonomy. We're going to add a comma before the term name. So let's do that. Basically, let's create a simple check that we already did multiple times during this series of tutorial. And it's by creating a variable that is a numeric variable. In my case, it's $i equals zero. And every time we loop, we increase this $i variable by one, specifying like the plus plus, this one is going to be for every each loop is going to be one, two, three, four, and so on, so on. So we can check. Uh, in my case, we can just simply put a if this dollar i variable is bigger than one, it means that we are at two. We are at the second loop, so we're going to have another term. We can just echo a space with a comma or maybe a comma and then a space. And then always remember the semicolon at the end. Let's save it. Let's go take a look in our front end, refresh. And now it's way more readable. So we are going to do basically the exact same thing for our tags list, because also the tags list is a custom taxonomy. And we have to just specify the different ID of the taxonomy that we declared. So let's copy this entire piece of code. Let's paste it here. And you don't even have to replace the variables. You can keep the same variables if the snippet of code is really small. If this code is big, it's really massive, I suggest you to replace the variables to not get confused. But PHP works from top to bottom. So after he retrieved, after PHP retrieved these uh, list of terms, and exhausted the for, for each loop, we can reuse the same variables without affecting the previous loop because PHP already read that section and skipped to the second one. So uh, it's pretty safe to reuse the same variables if we know what we're doing. So if the loop is complete, we can reuse it. If we don't know, it's better to rename it, but I'm lazy, so <laughs> let's keep it like that. And the to retrieve the list of tags, the other custom taxonomy that I specified, I just need to change the ID of this uh, get post terms. And the exact ID of my custom non hierarchical taxonomy software, so I'm going to copy paste there from the functions.php, save it, and just go take a look, refresh, and we have exactly what we specify. We have Illustrator, Krita, Photoshop, and so on, so on. So as you can see, this is pretty simple to generate a custom taxonomy as to say there's custom taxonomies to a specific custom post type or to a specific pre-existing post type, like a post of a page and print those taxonomies selected in our backend. So also for today's lesson, it's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And until the next lesson, as usual, happy coding.